adventures of Allie and Clint and Maggie and Leah. Here we go, y'all. Sunday, going out to check the line and pull it in. It's been a rough weekend. We got an Asian carp on the line on Saturday, and that was it. Yesterday, we had about a three pound blue cat on the line, but he hopped off when we were getting ready to pull him in. Had a 20 pound snapping turtle, and uh, now we're gonna go uh, pull it in, and hopefully, we got something on there. And then we're gonna go back, and we got about 25 people coming. We're gonna have a shindig fish fry. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for the action. Adventures of Allie and Clint. And Maggie and Leah. How many, how many fish we got on there, girls? Tell the camera. Five. Five. How many Hundreds. Are hundreds. Five and hundreds. Oh. Here we go. First two hooks ain't got nothing on them. Thanks to the turtles out here. I saw that turtle pop his head out. First four hooks are empty. Oh, wait, I like them first four or five are empty every time. I wish I could be Nice them. shallow meals for the turtles. There's where we had the turtle yesterday. We didn't put the hook back on. And we got bait everywhere. Not looking hopeful. This has been the worst year we've had for trot line in Missouri. The river just didn't come up enough. Normally by now we got 750 to 1,000 pounds of fish. This has been the worst year. We've caught three or four fish on a trot line this year. But the, usually it's, the river's 35 or 40 foot blowed out of its banks. And it just didn't come up this year. This is where I put all that good Asian carp we caught yesterday. Cut him up. So I was hopeful there would be at least be a big fish right here. Or a fish. There is not going to be one fish on this line. The camera's off. Nah, it's recording, baby. Oh. But we're going to show you all the good and the bad. And we're even going to splice a little fish fry into this oh. video. Oh, where's... I'm not doing it. Mama got scared. We got something over here. She dropped that old line like it was hot grease. What we got here? We got a big old snapper turtle. Look at that guy right there. We can get y'all a little view. Look at that. That hook is all the way through his nose, which means I can't get that hook back. So he's going to get one of them Minotaur 10 aught hooks. And there he is. Hey, yeah. look at him. Yeah. Yeah. If we lost bait, it's because of turtles. It ain't no fish getting it. Bait seems to be down here. Well, he's gone, baby. I took him off the line. He's gone. Where is he? He's gone. He swam off. I don't like snapper. Me neither. Why is he always out here? There's a lot of snappers, huh? There we go. We're not even going to get one fish, it don't look like. But hey, we're out here as a family fishing and having fun. So that's all that matters, making memories. Daddy, Look at this oil that's still Daddy, popping up like on the water. Daddy, who broke all the fish with? Daddy, who broke all the fish with? That's it, y'all. That's the last hook, and there's nothing there. So it was a very unsuccessful weekend at fishing, but we ain't going to give up. We'll be back out here when this river comes up. We probably won't be back out trot line unless the river comes to 35 or 40 foot. We'll switch to rod and reels. But hey, thanks for watching. Adventures of Allie and Clint. Y'all stay tuned for the action. All right, here we go, y'all. Just a little quick view of what we're gonna have going on. We got the drinks, we got the ice. That's an old school throwback like you were in school trays. 25 of them. All those will be filled with ribbon fries for the fryer. Got five bags of Andes on standby. And if y'all don't know it, let's see if I have a bag out here, I do. If y'all don't know what Andes is and you're frying fish, cause we don't have Andes in Texas. So I'm just gonna give y'all the, you can order it on Amazon cause I sent my family some of this. If you're not frying fish with this right here, 
This is Andy's red because it has paprika in it, but they also just make a straight Andy's yellow. But if you're not frying fish with this, like you're just really not frying fish. <clears throat> All my life growing up, I made my own cornmeal, salt, pepper. When I moved here and discovered that, this is a game changer. We got 10 pounds of potatoes right here for the, for the ribbon fryer, or for the ribboner. Make uh, ribbon fries with that. We got the, the fryer, three basket. It's ready to go. Hey, Cajun fryer by RV Works. Made in America, American quality, eight and a half gallon. This is a fish frying machine. Like that was the biggest game changer ever in frying fish. I can feed 102 people an hour with this fryer and it will do it. We got the, we're setting up the trampoline out there. Gonna have about 25 people in the backyard, plenty of parking over there for everybody. And inside here, is where I'm about to make some magic happen. And I got 15 pounds of fillets right there. About to cut those up in nuggets. We got another seven pounds right there. That's a lot of fish. We got coleslaw down there and onions and lemon and tartar sauce and we got it all. So I'm gonna cut some of this up and then we'll get to the frying and we'll show you what the fryer does. Y'all stay tuned for the action. There you go, y'all. 22 pounds of fish. Cut up, ready to go. In a two and a half gallon bucket. Oh, that's a heavy bucket. We'll let the water soak on it, drain it, do it, fill it up again, drain it again. We'll get ready to put it in the fryer. Y'all stay tuned for the action. All right, y'all. Fryer's going, temperature says about 325-ish right now. These bags are loaded already. Got one I saved so I could show y'all how I do it. Got all my catfish cut up in nuggets right here. Get me two or three good handfuls in here and this old Andy's red. <clears throat> Seal it off, shake them up. Those are ready. Over here we got ribbon fries already cut up, seasoned with onions all in them. Got the, just made the coleslaw inside. Got the Hutch puppies in the freezer. Hey, we're about to drop some baskets, y'all. Got a light shower coming through. It's okay, we ain't worried about no rain. We fish in the rain, we cook fish in the rain. It don't matter. We'll load these baskets up. Shake off all this excess right here. Man, I watched a guy, I watched a guy on YouTube, his name is Spencer River Certified. And he did a catch and cook on the on his boat or on in the riverbank and I, I tried it now I meant to make a video too and show but just for you people who like to cook fish he took his fish after he cleaned it and he put it in a ziploc bag like this in in uh Frank's red hot sauce I put that on everything and uh he left it in there for about 10 minutes and then he battered his fish in it man it looked so good that I had to try it it was really good so y'all give that a try Shout out Spencer River Certified. That was a that was a good video. I'm always up for something new. A lot of times we see the same old thing over and over when it comes to cooking fish or YouTube or just fishing in general. So it was refreshing to see something new. The rain is here and it is coming down. That's all right. It ain't gonna stop us. We're about to drop these baskets. We got a two-car garage in there for everybody to sit in if it gets too bad. But it's supposed to just be a light shower and pass. Right, drop them in there. Good old chunks. 22 pounds I'm cooking. Hey, and if you're if you're watching this video and you can get here 
before it gets done hey you're invited to come eat too that'd work if i was going live wouldn't it maybe my next fish fry, fish fry i'll go youtube live with it and i'll make that invite we're in southeast missouri a little bitty town called jackson all right let's get a timer going okay google set a timer for four and a half minutes all right but first you'll have to unlock your device and now y'all four minutes and 30 seconds and now y'all know my cook time here we go dropping them down y'all and there they are all right they're cooking we'll cook that first all the fish first is my order that i cook then i'll cook the hush puppy second then i cook the potatoes last we'll cover it in full and everybody gets here we'll have a chow down well that was a quick four and a half minutes wasn't it y'all there it is we'll knock that grease off of it that's the first batch and then we're gonna repeat this process about eight more times yeah Oh, there's a little bit of thunder for you. Look at that. I mean, does it really get any better than that? Look at that bucket of fish. Woo. My wife always gets the first piece. Even I don't get the first piece. She does though. But there it is, y'all. We're gonna reload it and do it again. A little bit. You wanna be on YouTube? Say hi. 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 Well, y'all, that's a successful fish fry. Still got plenty left over to give people to take home. Got everybody sitting over here. Got full bellies, relaxing. Got the old people over here with the bad finger. Not you, young man. I was talking to the old man. Got all my pals over here. There's wrenches and rides, look. Y'all go check out his channel. Oh uh, yeah, and if you live in Southeast Missouri in my area, that's the owner of Armstrong Outdoors right there. That's Kevin Armstrong. Let's not talk about the banana on the boat thing. And then we got everybody in here. Having oh, it's cupcake party going on in here. and that's it y'all we fished we didn't catch nothing but hey we had fish to eat and we had family and friends over thanks for watching y'all adventures of ali and clint y'all stay tuned for the action